I'm Amrita Rajpa. I've been teaching for 22 years, but I've been learning my whole life. And that's why I have a company called Edu Learn Grow. I'm a sports nutritionist. I'm an avid traveler and I'm an active Rotarian. I'm also the territory head for the Early Childhood Association, Mumbai. I'm founder EduLearn Grow and co-founder the ABCD show. Hi, I'm Bela Kotwani, also known as Big B. Big for the size of my heart and B for Bela. A fun-loving person with a great sense of humor and a passionate pickleball player. National Core Committee member of Early Childhood Association, founder and principal of Cosmic Kids International, co-founder Puppet Maestros, and co-founder The ABCD Show. The ABCD Show is a show where everything concerned with children is addressed. We're going to get in eminent experts whose opinions matter. We're going to introduce you to new products. We're going to have theories unfold into practice. We'll discuss mental health and wellness. We'll look at best practices. We'll give you parenting tips and we'll explore tools and strategies to help you teach So, effective. if you are a preschool coordinator, parent, teacher or anyone who has anything to do with children, this show is for you. So don't forget to like our page to know more about our upcoming events. Hello everyone and welcome to the ABCD show. I'm so happy today to be introducing Himangani Babla. Let me introduce her properly for the ones who don't know her. So Himangani has been a teacher by profession and she's been teaching since 1968. Hemangani, that is 52 years of teaching. That's wonderful. Right. Thank you. She believes in let learning be a joy and teaching be a pleasure. She conducts interactive workshops for teachers and parents on how to teach reading, writing and spelling following the child-friendly phonics system of pictograms, music and phonics stories. She's conducted workshops for teachers of many pre-primary schools and also of many primary schools. And they're all over India and she's been teaching reading, writing, spelling, using this phonic methodology. Her other passion is that of development of thinking skills and brain stimulation based on the theory of multiple intelligences. And since 1989, she's been importing teachers' resources, learning aids, reading programs, books on different project topics. And she also is the owner of the Spellbound Kids Bookstore. So wonderful. I'm so excited to be uh, introducing Hemangani and Letterland, the phonics-based approach she's going to be speaking on. I also want to take this opportunity to speak about my relationship with Hemangani. So I know Hemangani since 22 years. And uh, I was a coordinator in Kangaroo Kids. And Hemangani used to come over there and, you know, bring out her whole suitcase full of books. And she would so passionately speak about these books and transported me into that world of, you know, fairies, elves, and, and letters also. And um, Hemangani, thank you so much. Your passion really rubbed off on me. And I'm a great lover of books and of teaching aids and of anything to do with learning and teaching. So thanks again for that and I'm so excited to have you here and we're so excited that you're going to be explaining about Letterland and the phonics based approach to everybody. So over to you. Welcome Himangani. I'm waiting to hear you. I'll be meeting you for the first time but let's hear what you all have to offer us. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much for the introduction. So today's session is unlocking the door to literacy with child-friendly phonics.
the question arises, what is literacy? And what is phonics? Literacy is the ability to read and write. Phonics is an association of letter shapes and letter sounds. English alphabet has 26 letters that make 44 speech sounds. Spelling and spelling rules. How to increase vocab and how to teach handwriting. This is Letterland and you are all welcome to Letterland. Letterland, Letterland, there could be no better land For meeting a duck, a man with a hat, an orange or two, and a clever old cat So let's go to Letterland, Letterland, Letterland Walter wore a sweater land, the slithering sound A king who can kick, a quarrelsome queen, all meet noisy nick So let's go to Letterland, let's go to Letterland today Now, as we go in the world of Letterland, first let's understand what is multisensory learning. Learning to read, write, and spell is a process that works best when all aspects of a child's intelligence are involved. Body, kinesthetic, make children people smart, word smart, logic smart, nature smart, self smart, picture smart, and music smart. It's very important to have structured learning while teaching children to learn to read, write, and spell. Speaking and listening, letter shapes, word building, advanced spelling, and the most important is multisensory learning. When a child learns to read, what are the different parts of this our human body system they use? Eyes, to see the different colors and shapes and their association. Hearing, body, play acting and life spelling. Hands, art, craft, cookery. Ears and mouths, related to rhymes, alliteration, stories and songs. And most important, brain. Understanding, imagination and logic. How does Letterlen do multisensory learning and help in the whole child development? That's the picture of Harry Hatman. Brain, understanding, reasoning, and imagination. Ears and mouth, story, song, rhyme, alliteration. Body, play acting, and live spelling. Heart, I love being Harry Hatman. Look at her smile. Eyes, Color, shape, and association. Hence, art and craft. Why Letterland is the next question. It's used worldwide. More than 111 countries use Letterland over the last 40 years. It's very child friendly. Can you see these three children? The first one is holding munching mic. The second one is holding impi ink. And the third one is holding X for X-ray. Synthetic phonics, research-based, multisensory, and we have actions. If you look at this picture of the child, he's holding his hand in front of his mouth and breathe onto it. And that's how children learn to sound out the letters, not by the name, but by the way we speak about. Because of all this, Letterland works. Why Letterland works? Fun, fast, and fabulous. Letterland characters cue letter sounds and shapes by tapping into the child's imagination. 
let alone as extensive action stories. Action tricks linked to all 26 letter shapes, over 100 story actions. Let alone is also a complete literacy package from single letter recognition to all 44 sounds covering 150 spelling patterns. Synthetic phonics refers to the blending of sounds together to make a word. Let alone works. Let alone fun multisensory approach to teaching and learning matches the needs of today's children. What is the objective of today's session? To show how literacy is enhanced by the use of letter N, a well-established English phonic system, and to encourage a love of language in a fun, multisensory, cross-curriculum way. Focusing on learning through play using letter N story-based pictogram approach. Letter N is child-friendly. A multi-sensory approach through letter and sound recognition. Children can become letters and role play the way they behave in words. They can sing about each letter sound and shape. Children can draw, write, spell, listen, sing, and look at the pictograms. These pictograms are visual images. They are the visual characters that are designed to carry information about each letter, shape, and sound. By just starting to say each character's name, children discover the sounds that letters make in words. The use of characters and action is supported by scientific research and is also in line with research on memory. One of the most effective system that I have used to teach reading, writing, and spelling to young children is Letterland. Yes, the young children also have a lot of learning challenges. Let's look at the alphabet problems. Look at his expression. 26 letters make 44 sounds. These letters are unintuitive, not easy to grasp. They are abstract. They have different shapes. You will also see that there are letters like B and D. Children get mixed up between B and D, P and Q, W and M. They also get mixed up between the uppercase and lowercase. And then there are letters where it can be written in different ways. The names of the letters. There are some letters, the, the sound, which is the starting sound, and the ending sound. There are some letters where there is no sound or they are abstract. Some are similar and some have same words. Letter lenders always start with the beginning sound. You see the picture? It's not C, it's clever cat. Repeat the beginning sound, bouncy Ben. So the sound of the letter B, B, is repeated. Visually represent the beginning sound, and that's semi-snake. We also use a lot of music. We teach alphabet, not by singing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but we teach alphabet, which teaches the sound of the letters. Harry Hetman whispers, in words, Harry Hetman whispers, he never talks out loud. Now let's hear the alphabet song. Harry Hetman whispers, whispers, whispers. Harry Hetman whispers, he never talks out loud. Did you like it? Yes, I'm sure you loved it. Harry Hatman whispers, whispers, whispers. Harry Hatman whispers, he never talks out loud. Now let's look at how do we teach handwriting. Learn A to Z shapes 
from any of them to zigzag zebra, the uppercase and the lowercase. You can teach letters, handwriting of these letters by air tracing or by finger tracing. Air trace to reinforce letter shapes and the direction of the shape. Picture coding. More to the activities where the friendly letter lenders introduce the correct strokes for every letter of the alphabet. Rainbow writing. Draw the letter within the outline in different colors to improve fine motor control and letter formation. Handwriting songs. The handwriting songs relate letter shapes and formation to parts of the body, making it fun and easy to learn correctly. Now, if I, if I talk about the letter C, that's clever cat, and the wordings are down. Curve round clever cat's face to begin, then gently tickle her under her chin. So if I am sitting in front of the children, I'm going to take my finger, start from the top of the head and sing it and go like this. Curl round clever cat's face to begin, then gently tickle her under her chin. And a smart child will say, stop, stop, stop. If you don't stop, you will become Oscar Orange. Same way you look at the letter D. That's Dippy Duck. Draw Dippy Duck's back. Go round her tum, go up to her head, then down you come. Finger tracing is very important. You see this child. She is standing in front of a poster. You have the uppercase and the lowercase. Clever cat, and she is going round it and listening to the song. Shape formation. This is reinforcement. Curve round clever cat's face to begin, then gently tickle her under her chin. We also have write and sing an activity book along with the music CD. And here, little and realized that they had not made songs of the uppercase. So this CD has 26 uppercase songs and 26 lowercase songs. Trace over the large letter shapes first and then move on to smaller letters as skills improve. Each song provides a friendly rhyme to guide correct letter formation. Dots and arrows help with starting positions and correct letter formation. Now let's hear the song of Harry Hetman. Sorry, this one is not playing. We also have the sing and learn with actions, the book and the CD. And it's amazing. The CD has songs to teach numbers, to teach shapes, and to teach feelings. Letter lenders face the reading direction. As you see, Munching Mike, Bouncy Ben, Eddie Elephant, Talking test, jumping gym. They're all going in the reading direction. There are certain letters which are exceptions. For example, golden girl. She feels too giddy. So she doesn't move in the reading direction. Zigzag zebra. He feels too shy. So he is not facing the reading direction. And quarrelsome queen. She is so quarrelsome. She has a frown on her face and she also does not face the reading direction. The best way to teach children to learn to write is with help of phonics touch and trace. The child could be a tactile learner, needing to touch things to learn. A child could be a visual learner, needing memorable, clever images to look at. A child could be auditory learner, needing engaging stories and rhymes to listen to. The wonderful thing about this phonic touch and trace book with its raised letter is that it is multi-sensory, allowing children to learn letter shapes, 
letter sounds and develop a real awareness of words in a way that suits them best. In the same series, we also have The Touch and Spell. Both these books cover handwriting. Now we move to the main part of Letterland, that is the Letterland ABC, beyond ABC, and far beyond ABC. In Letterland, everything that has got a red border is for the nursery or the pre-nursery level. The blue one is for junior kg, and the green one is for senior kg. Let's go back into the details, the letter line ABC. Ideal introduction to alphabet, reading, speaking, and listening skills. It presents each uppercase A to Z character and the long vowel sound of A, E, I, O, U. It is used for phonemic awareness and language development. It helps build vocab and observation skills. The second book, which is Letterland Beyond ABC, it presents and reviews the story logic to explain the 22 diagraph sounds and reasons for their change of sound. It strengthens spelling, vocab, and observation skills. The third one is the Far Beyond ABC. It presents and reviews the story logic that explains 20 different spelling patterns. Wobbleman, the magic -y stories, the robot stories, a boy called Roy stories, and boot and foot twin stories. Let's look at these books in detail now. Welcome to Letterland. You may think that letters are just black lines and curves in rows on a page. If so, it's time to think again. The people and animals in Letterland usually hide behind their plain black letter shapes. Fortunately, in this book, you can look into their secret land and see what they are really like. You will meet any apple, Bouncy Ben, Clever Cat, and lots more, including one or two troublemakers like Red Robot and Walter Walrus. Are you ready? Let's go to Letterland. Yes. <laughs> we are ready. Great. Now this one is one of my favorite. It's the story of Harry Hetman. Harry Hetman is a very quiet person. He hates loud noise. He likes to whisper a sound and therefore he says <sighs> he doesn't say her. Because he is a very silent, he doesn't like too much of noise. So you see, he doesn't even wear shoes on his feet because shoes make noise. In the letter line ABC, there will be three paragraphs opposite every single letter. The last para gives you, in a story format, the difference between the lowercase and the uppercase, the small letter and the capital letter. That's Harry Hetman once again. Now let's play a little game. You have to help children learn to identify or spot things that you see in the picture, which start with the sound of Harry Hetman. Can you see his head, hand? And what do you think that is? Oh yes, that's the helicopter. helicopter. What about this? That's a hut. And there is a head shop over there. They sell heads over there. You will also see hay, hedgehogs, horse, hen, and of course, a lot of other things. They don't necessarily start with the sound of Harry Hetman, but majority of the things do. At this point of time, you can also have children whose name starts with the sound of Harry Edmund get up in the classroom. And they feel so excited. Would you like to meet Harry Edmund? Now let's see 
What does Harry Hatman say? How do you do? I'm Harry Hatman. Too much noise gives me a horrible headache. So remember when you make my sound, just whisper it. Can you find two more animals beginning with my sound? Hen, hedgehog. Time to hurry off now. How do you do? I'm Harry Hatman. Too much noise gives me a horrible headache. So remember when you make my sound, just whisper it. Can you find two more animals beginning with my sound? Hen, hedgehog. Time to hurry off now. Hope to see you again. How do you do? I'm Harry. Harry, lovely. The kids would really love this. Yes, they would. Yeah. Now let's see what is the link between the lowercase and uppercase. That's Dippy Duck, and that's Dippy Duck's door. This child is dressed up with a headgear, which is shaped like the shape of Dippy Duck. Children are playing, the teacher is teaching, and the third picture, that is this picture, shows how the Dippy Duck, the uppercase D, is shown here. And children are used to lowercase and uppercase in a very different manner. Now let's move further. When Harry meets Sammy, so that's Harry Hatman with the green hat of once again, and that's Sammy Snake. Can you see the headgear of the Sammy Snake? When Harry Hatman, when Sammy Snake is making hissing sounds, Harry Hatman turns around and tells Sammy Snake, shh, don't make noise. That's why Sammy Snake and Harry Atman together make the sound sure. This is the story about sure. It's in the second part of Letterland Readers. That's called Beyond ABC. Now let's look at this picture. Harry Atman loves to go to the beach for a walk. When he goes to the beach, Sammy Snake loves to go behind him. And Semi Snake keeps on making hissing sounds. Sss, sss. Harry Edmund doesn't like it. He doesn't turn himself, but he simply turns his head and he tells Semi Snake, shh, don't make noise. That's why Semi Snake and Harry Edmund together make the sound sure. Did you all like it? And now you play the spotting game. The concept Hemangani to teach the and the sound and both of them getting together to make shh. They make, in, in other words, they make diagraphs. Yes, and very difficult concept made so easy. True. And this particular book has the diagraph stories on ch, sh, th, and many more. Now, same way you play the spotting game. So you start from the top and point out all the things that you see in the picture which have the sure sound, the beginning, middle, or ending sound. So let's see. What are these white ones? They are the sheep. What about this? Sheet. Sheet, white sheet. I can also say washing. Okay. Yeah. There is a little washing basket. You put all the washed clothes in there. That's a shed. That's a shop. You can see the two white sheep. And he's shearing the sheep. Yes, and he's shearing the sheep. Sorry, I missed out. Let me go back. Reddish. Yes. What about this? Mushroom. 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 What about this? Shells. Shells. And then you can see fish. Fish. Shark. Is it shark also? I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, the shoppers, you, yeah. you are fantastic. A big Thank thing. you. There's a, she, there's ship. a ship also. And there is a ship, yes. And the sunshine. And you forgot something. It's along the seashore. That's the seashore. Seashore. Right, shore. The shore. That's correct. I also can point out one more. What about these creatures? They are shrimps. And the best part of Letterland, on the last page of Letterland, in every book, they have given a list of words that you can read and spot those things in the picture. That makes learning very, very easy. What about this? Is it Kaha? No, no. When Clever Cat and Harry Hetman are together, they make another sound. They make the sound of ch. Look at this Clever Cat. She loves to cook. She's in the kitchen. And Harry Hetman loves to help Clever Cat cook, so he goes in the kitchen. Little hair from his head flies and gets into Clever Cat's nose. And she sneezes. She doesn't know how to put both the hands. So she puts one hand and she sneezes and she says, isn't that amazing? Oh, sweet. <laughs> then you start spotting things in the picture which start with the sound. Technically, we call them diagrams. So look at this one. Food chart, ch. Chest, ch. Chalkboard, ch, Chinese, ch, chopsticks, sticks, ch, chili, cheese, cherries on the cake, and so on. Why is the clock is there, I wonder? Sorry? Why is the clock there? No, there may be other things as oh, well. There could be. Because there it's beginning with C, is it bad? That's why? Uh, no. No? It has nothing okay. to do with that. Okay. Like, for example, window, okay? So here right. in window, there is no chair in it. Right, right, right. But there is a tree behind which has cherries. Right. Oh, okay. I also think it's very nice that they have other things over there so that you yes. can discriminate between the sounds. Right. Right. They are supposed to point out everything that they see in the picture which has the beginning sound of... Perfect, perfect. Okay, like very features... Nice. Beginning sound, middle sound, okay. and also Cheese ending sound. And chocolate, and uh, you can really get into the groove of it. Correct. No? Correct. Correct. What about these? Can you see these? Yeah, the chickens and the chicken. That's correct. Chicken. And what do you think Clever Cat is playing? Chess. Chess? <laughs> oh, yes. That also starts with ch. And children start wondering, can the clever cat play chess? If you have a little pet cat at home, try it out. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> this is the same picture, a little bigger in size, so you can see. Oh, yes, now you can see the paper chain. Chain, I was just coming to that. Yes. There are a lot of things. There is cheese, slice of cheese. Yeah. The words are given on the, at the back of the book, okay? Now let's hear the songs. The song of the sound ch. Please join in. The cat belongs to the hat man. He lets her go where she pleases. But when she sits down, Amazing, isn't it? So cute it is. I love it. Very nice. Letterland has songs on all the diagraphs, the most common or frequently used diagraphs, and they are in this Blandon Diagraph music CD. 
I don't think any child could forget this. I'm yes. Just here, this, yeah. Impossible. Yes. Impossible. True. Move to the next one. Beyond A B C D. Let's take some more examples. This gives you summary, which adds more than what we have spoken about. So the Beyond A B C has diagraphs with Harry Hetman. The stories on ch, sh, f, th, w, words which have i g h, right? R i g h t, right? It also has stories on the W control vowels, like o, po, so, or take words like new, now, how. And the rear control vowels, again, wrist, and all these words. The last part of it is vowels out walking. When two vowel men go out walking, the first one does the talking. Okay. The first one says his name, but his friend won't do the same. So if you take any of these words, you take the word day, so you can hear the D, the sound, and the A, Y, but there will be no sound of Y in it. This is a poster. It's a great way to put it up in the classroom where children can see. Get it laminated, it'll last your lifetime. When two vowels go out walking, the first man does the talking. The first one says his name, but his friend won't do the same. Mr. A and Mr. I go out walking. This is the same thing explained, but in the form of a picture. He just says his name, but his friend won't do the same. Now we'll take one more example. The sound of A, that's Mr. Apron Man and Mr. Ice Cream Man. You have to spot things here in the picture, which the words, the things, use the sound of A and I together. Let's look at this one. Waiting room, can you see that? Yes, wait. Wait. Mail. Rail. Sail, trail, train, train, and so on. Yes. Now let's look at the next one. Mr. A and the yo-yo men. Mr. A's usual walking partner is Mr. I. But Mr. I feels dizzy at the end of words. So the yo-yo men helps out. Mr. E and his brother go out walking. When two E's go walking, the first Mr. E does the talking. He just says his name, but his twin won't do the same. So though there are two E's, it's only the first E that is sounded. You see, a little picture made by a small child, and she has written words which have the long E sound in the form of a tree. Mr. E and Mr. A go out walking. When Mr. E and Mr. A go out walking, Mr. E usually does the talking. But sometimes he gives his pet elephant a turn to say E. E as an elephant, so it will become A. Eh. In words like head, bread. Mr. O and Mr. A go out walking. Goat. Yes. Mr. I and Mr. E go out walking. Now here you see a little copy master popping up. Copy masters. So what are copy masters? Copy masters give you permission to photocopy the worksheets, which we will talk in detail a little later. Let's look at Mr. I and Mr. E when they go out walking. Mr. I's turn when Mr. I and Mr. E go out walking. Here Mr. I in words like pie, 
tide supplies. This is the worksheet, which is from the copy master. Once you have the copy master, you get an official permission to photocopy the worksheets. You can put your school logo, you can put your school name or the class's name. Let's take one more example. Mr. U and Mr. E go out walking. What happens now? The picture code, the word hunt, Star Wars, plan and play, the story stone, art and craft. Is it true that Mr. U is stuck in blue glue? Here you see that the sound of E is not there. It's blue glue. Use the clues to rescue him. Now we come to the third part. Third part of the trilogy that is far beyond ABC. This one is, I think, one of the most unusual book that I have ever come across. Because these stories help children learn to spell. You see this picture? So what are the letters? What letter is this? And you will say, oh, that's R. And what letter is this? And you might say W. But if I put both of them together, what is the sound made? In Letterland, when you read the story, you will read the story about Red Robot. Red Robot is very clever. When he goes out, he always carries a net. And you know why he carries a net? He knows that when he goes out, if he meets Walter Walrus, Walter Walrus, because of his shape, he collects salty water here. And he loves to splash salty water on Red Robot. He doesn't like it. So what he does is he takes out the net and he catches Walter Walrus. Walter Walrus is caught. He can't move. He becomes nervous and he loses his sound. It's much easier to tell the child this story instead of saying in the word risk W is silent. Then the child thinks, okay, in the word water, W has to be silent. So do you call water otter? No, because W, Walter Walrus is not with Red Robot. The two troublesome letter lenders, when the two troublesome letter lenders get together, Red Robot overpowers Walt, Walter Walrus so he doesn't speak in words like right and wrist. We come to the one more part of letter N, very different. What letter do you see here? You see the letter Y. Is the letter Y a consonant or a vowel? You'll be surprised that there are almost 5,000 words in English language where the sound of the letter Y is not here, but it takes the sound of a vowel. So you look at the word carry, tiny, fishy, think of as many words, teddy, puppy, party, family, why? And you'll be able to think of so many words. So though why is not a vowel, it's a consonant, but it also plays the role of a vowel based on what words are there. That's far beyond ABC. The stories are, this is a summary, Silent Magicy, the split diagraphs, the rrr control vowels. We did the story of wrist, the variant vowels, boy, and the final letter Y as a vowel. It takes the sound of E and I. In letter N, we also have the big books. So we have the My Alphabet Big Book. It's really a big book. You can use it in such a way that 30, 40 children can see the pictures very clearly. You see this, the first picture? So it does the uppercase and the lowercase. 
They've given examples of words which children are familiar with. Apple, ant, arrow. If you look at this picture, what is any apple doing? Any apple, apples grow on trees. So they love to swing on the tree. Again, you play a spotting game where you will find different things in this picture that starts with the sound of any apple. A, I, O, U, the vowels also have the long sound. This is the story about the long sound and he is called Mr. A. Here, they are reinforced once again. Acorn, alien, apron. The second part of this, the big book is called the My Diagraph Big Book. These supersized scenes act as a wonderful focal point for everyone. Each page features a diagraph in a beautifully illustrated scene with so much to look at and find containing the focus diagraph. There are also clear illustrations of some of the key vocab from the scenes with word labels below. As you see the word labels here, Quick reminders of each of the letter and spelling stories are included. These stories can play a vital role in helping children remember sounds and spelling patterns. Talk about each diagraph together. Search for vocab and start to recognize and read whole words. Now we come to writing skill. Learning to write, letter formation, most children start to enjoy making marks on paper and scribbling from the age of two, three, and four. They like to pretend to write. Soon they will want to write their name. This is the best time to make sure they form the letters correctly. Getting the strokes right from the start is more valuable than it may first seem. seem. Little children often develop poor hand habits, holding their pencil awkwardly. This picture makes it very, very clear. What should be the hand position for writing? If you look at this side, those, most of us are right-handed. A right-handed child keeps the paper at this angle. You see his elbow, the way he sits, Remember one thing, a right-handed child, when he writes, the hand goes away from the body. But left-handed children have a bigger challenge. They keep the paper just exactly at the opposite angle. Can you see his hand? He starts writing. And every letter or every stroke that he makes, what happens to his hand? it comes closer to the body. And therefore, children who are left-handed are generally given a sitting position, which is a single seater. In some schools, they have two and three children sitting in a row. So the left-hander should always be kept in a position where he can use the left side. If you see the degrees, the paper side edge for the right-hander is 20 degrees, while the left-hander is 30 degrees, and the, his elbow is off the table, while this child's elbow is slightly tilted. This picture is from this book called Learn to Read and Write. This is a parent's guide. But if you go through it, you will realize that it is as much a parent guide, that much a teacher's guide. This particular guide also has over 50 free online resources. What are the other products from Letterland which are for parental support? The read and write book. We have the ABC activity book. We also have the beyond ABC activity book and we also have the far beyond ABC activity book. It has crossword, it has stickers, and children are kept busy, especially in this time where children are at home and their learning has to continue. This is the inside page. You color it. 
Now, again, as you see here, clever cat, you take different colors and go around singing the song. You also start spotting things in the picture. So you can see the crow, castle, cow, calf, car. What about this? Cup. A cake. And what about this? That's a cup. That's a cup. Probably he loves to have coffee or cocoa. And what about these flowers? Carnation, is it? Carnations? Yes, you are fantastic. When you are doing this, if you see the picture down, you will see this child doing the action. Do the action and make the shape. Let's look at the second part, the teacher's resources. We have three teacher's resources. The early years handbook, as you see the red color, it, it focuses on alphabet immersion. The phonics teacher's guide, which is the blue one, that's along with the beyond ABC, that's word and sentence building, and it focuses and helps teachers to help children who are in lower KG or junior KG. The third one is the advanced teacher guide, and this has advanced spelling patterns. As we did the story of Far Beyond ABC, we did the story of wrist. There are times when a child says, mommy, this part of my body is called knee. So how do I write knee? Do I write N-E-E? -E? And the parent says, no, you write K-N-E-E. -E. The child wants to understand what happened to the sound of K. Teachers want to help the children. So if you go to the advanced teacher's guide, it will give you outline of how you can make those kind of stories with help of this. Let's look at the teacher's handbook a little more in depth. It covers letter and characters from A to Z. The sound uppercase and lowercase, handwriting, phonemic awareness. This is an open two page. For every letter, they have used two pages. So let's take this as an example. So this one is on Harry Hetman. What is the objective of this? Move to the next one. What do you need? Preparation to help children learn the sound, the shape, and how to write. What about this character? If you remember, he, he, does, he hates noise. He likes to be quiet, soft-spoken. Move to the next one. The shape. Harry Hetman's sound. What is the sound? <gasps> Action trick. Can you see? The first part, which is the lowercase, Harry Hetman with his knee bent. But look at the uppercase. What is Harry Hetman doing? He is doing, he's upside down. His hands are down and legs are up. So cute that is. It is, it is. <laughs> it helps build vocab. What are the different activities that you can do? things that you can make. We have cookbook and we also have craft book for, which covers every single letter. Move to the next part. Things to do. Uppercase. So you do lower and uppercase both. And the transcript is on the CD. This comes along with the CD. This is the early years handbook. In short, story, song, rhyme, alliteration, art, craft, role play, games, creative thinking, discussion, copy masters, because you have to make the worksheets and the software that goes with it. Now who's coming? 
Oh, yes. That's Harry Hetman. What are the skills you will develop? Listening skills, speaking skills, phonemic awareness, the sounds of the lowercase and uppercase from A, any apple to zigzag zebra, the shapes, the formation. It also covers the recurring spellings, vocab, creative thinking, cross curriculum, multi-sensory, and of course, the whole thing becomes very motivating. The Phonics Teacher's Guide, teacher, teaching, focus, teaching focus and assessment objectives. It teaches all 44 sounds of the English language. This book has 103 lesson plans in five sections. The fast track. So if someone needs help and you need to help the child to learn it on a fast track, you use the phonemic awareness. The A to Z word building, sorry. The A to Z, that's any apple to zigzag zebra, word building, blending, segmenting, and the CVC words. Blending with adjacent consonants are the tricky words. Long vowels to help decode new words. Further vowel sounds and spellings. Building fluency and comprehension. Teaching and learning strategies. Activity bank and the full assessment program on the CD. And this is the CD that comes along with it. The third part, which goes with far beyond ABC, as you can see the green color, 120 pages of lesson plan, activity ideas and photocopyable sheets makes the advanced teacher's guide ideal for teachers of slightly older children. The guide covers all common spellings patterns and includes the ed and the ing endings and the popular shun story, which makes over 1000 words ending in shun, easy to read and spell correctly. If you remember a little while ago, we spoke about wrist. There, are, there have been examples I've experienced where a child or a teacher wonders, how do I explain knee? What happens to the sound of K in the word knee? Can I say K is silent? No. If you go to the advanced teacher's guide and go to the K and sound, you will get an outline of the story that you can create and share it with children. The advanced teacher's resources introduces children to more phonemes, diagraphs, trigraphs, complex spelling, irregular spelling, advanced spelling. They also have the advanced song CD. The resources for assessment and the assessment outcome, living code cards, the software, copy master, and picture code cards. Letterland also has come up with grammar. So we have the grammar teacher's guide. Letter and grammar is, a perfect, is perfect for introducing the grammatical concept in key stage one. The range of teaching resources will help you bring grammar concepts to life so children can understand them, remember them, and know how to use them in their own writing. Letter and grammar is an interesting world to explore where words become buildings and sentences become streets. The punctuation we see is road signs on those streets indicating what is happening. We also have the Letterland Story Phonics software, animations of diagraph stories, letter sounds and keywords, blends and diagraph songs, games, quick dash section, word building, this is how schools use it. As you see on a, on a nice big screen, the interactive whiteboard, it is interactive whiteboard compatible. And these are the diagraph stories on different diagraphs like chur, sure, etc. We also have a magnetic board with these diagraphs. You open this and the magnets can be used. 
and then the quick dash. This is amazing. When we are trying to help teachers and parents, especially the parents who are trying to help children learn. So we have in Little Learn, we have my alphabet storybook set, 26 stories, A to Z, and the audio comes with it as a gift. Munching Mike and the Moon, Quarrelsome Queen and her quiz, Red Robot and Recycling. Imagine teaching recycling with help of Red Robot. Walter Walrus and the weather. You turn around and you say, what is the weather like today? So you read the story and the child understands what is the concept of weather. All these books is read together, read alone and read aloud. This is the whole set, which is again explaining, it helps the child become a fluent reader early reader and beginning reader. This is the inside page, the last part of each book. So it will give you the list of word bank and comprehension skills. What was on any apple's back? And ends, cats or heads? And the child starts thinking. For those children who are very good at reading, for young readers, Little Learn also has the most amazing classic storybook set. It's 20 volume set. As you see, the Harry Hetman's house, Clever Cat and the Clown, Eddie Elephant and the Forest Fire, Ticking Tess and the Tiger. There are times when people ask me that there are 26 letters, but why does this set have 20? Because there are stories like Eddie Elephant and Forest Fire in one. And that's how it is, though it is a complete set from any apple to zigzag zebra, there are some letters which are not used that frequently are put together. We also have the phonics reader set from one to four. The red color is for the earliest level, the youngest level. And these are the stories, Sam and other stories, Net and other stories, and so on. The blue is the second level, the green is the third level, and the orange is the fourth level. Sam and other stories, as you see, five books. Each set, each level has five books. There are schools who follow this as part of the readers in their school. So they finish one book in two months. 83 decodable stories in all four sets. Stories are progressive, linking directly to teaching order of Letterland Teacher's Guide. And therefore it becomes very easy for teachers to use the teacher's guide while teaching this. We also have the letter length stories, which are again at three different levels. The red one is the first level. This is five stories on any apple, Eddie Elephant, Impy Ink, Oscar Orange, and Uppy Umbrella. This is how the child is introduced to A, E, I, O, U, but without naming them A, E, I, O, U. Because when you name the character, you are already teaching them the sound. Come to the second part of it. You see the blue color? The blue color is compared to beyond ABC. So the sounds that are made, the stories that are covered. Lots of heads, seven eggs, go to bed, look at the mess, sit, nip, and pups in the pond. Then we move to the third level. The third level has longer stories. There are six stories in the third level, but they are broken into two parts. So you have level one, and these are the, the titles, The Queen Street, Greedy Seagulls, No Socks, 
and these are the vowels that you are teaching. The second part of it is by the pool, in the lighthouse, new jeans. One of my favorite is in the lighthouse. It's a story about the lighthouse keeper who decides to go for a walk along the beach. When she goes to the beach for a walk, Eddie Elephant, being very curious as to where is this light coming from, he tries to go up the lighthouse and he gets stuck. The lighthouse is bigger at the base, but it becomes narrower at the top. He goes up and he gets stuck. He's not able to turn and not able to come down. And the lighthouse starts shaking. So when the lighthouse keeper sees this, she runs back to the lighthouse and she realizes that Eddie Elephant is stuck. She gets the Eddie Elephant down. And this is how children love to read these kind of stories again and again. Now, how do we help children make words? The best way to help children make words is with help of flip flap phonics. It develops skills in blending, rhyming. It makes real and nonsensical words. A nonsensical word is still a word. So far, it may not have a meaning, but you can't say there is no word like that because it is still a word. It's made of letters. It's made of sound. Dots show units of sound to blend together. Can you see the dots there? So if you, if you see this one, that's the sound of chur. You've done the story of chur, Clever Cat and Harry Hetman. And here you see Oscar Orange with one dot and Peter Puppy with another dot. So the sound that is made is chur. It's not her up. And this is how children learn to use digraphs and trigraphs in a very systematic, logical way. Now we go to flip flap phonic two. In the flip flap phonic two, there are lots of these words which have something to do with the vowels. My favorite one is rain. Should I say rain? No, you see there is one single line below A and below I. And that's the long vowel sound of Mr. Apron and Mr. Ice Cream Man. When they are together, the first one makes a sound, not the second one. And therefore you don't say rain, but you say rain. You say play. You don't say play here. These are absolutely amazing. Then we also have a flip flip story maker. Again, it has three parts. So here you can use the story maker alphabetically and you can also use it randomly. The example that is given on top, the first one is red robot as you see. It's not the first letter of the English alphabet, but when you open the first one will be any apple, remember. Red robot made faces at a monkey and went in the rocket. Got it? We also have the little and make a story card game. There are 60 double-sided cards, and there are 284 words introduced through these cards. The non-readers can pair, sort, guided by the colors, even make sentences to be read out to them. Readers compete to make sentences and see who can create the funniest story. Because I can start with any apple got angry and next to that I can put Peter Puppy. I'm trying to make a word A, A, P, E. So I can make, I can take the Peter Puppy cards and then the Eddie Elephant cards and put them together. And this is how you make 
as many different variety of sentences while making the story. This is the whole set of copy masters. As I told you earlier, the red ones are at the first level. You can look at the early earth handwriting copy master, the A to Z copy master, and the sentence copy master. The second level, which is the beyond ABC level, you make word bank copy master, and these are the story concepts at the second level. You also have the diagraph stories like sh, ch, th, f. Then we come to the last stage, and that is the advanced copy master. So advanced copy master has, that's mainly for senior KG or even for grade one. And then we have the grammar copy masters. So the copy master, now let's see what are, what does the copy master have inside? These are coloring sheets. Once you have the copy master, you can put your school logo and the school name on it. You can get them printed. You can use them, make it into a book or use them as worksheets. Especially during this time of lockdown period going on, you can even email it to them. They can take a printout and they can do this activity. The handwriting copy master, you see this Harry Hetman? Again, as you see, what is he holding in his hand? A hammer? And who do you think that is? Hen? And what about this? That's the Harry Hetman's head and the hut. And this is going to help them learn the shape of how to write letter H, Harry Hetman. The handwriting copy master, again, also has practice sheets, again photocopyable, and the wordings of the songs are right on top. Hurry from the headman's head down to his heel on the ground. So here you are. Hurry from the headman's head down to his heel on the ground. Don't lift your finger or your pencil. Sorry, I missed it. Okay. Go up and bend his knee over so he will hop while he makes his sound. Isn't that exciting? Very interesting for children. It, Those who don't like to write will want to write also after listening to the story. And because they can hear the song, they can sing the song. If the school or the parent, if they have the CD and they have been playing that, the child starts singing the song of Harry Hetman, in fact, of each letter. There is also another one, copy master, which is on blends and diagraphs. As you see the blue color, so that goes with beyond ABC. So you will have words which have the two sounds together, skr, spur, skr, scream, stop screaming. Don't splash water on me. And children do not realize that they are using three consonants to make a blending sound. And the activities there will reinforce the skills. The word bank copy masters and picture coding. As you see, this is the blue one. That's Again, with the beyond ABC. Train again. So you do the story of Mr. A and Mr. Ice Cream Man together and what happens to their sound. So like this, for all these, you have different activities. The copy master sheets, the blends and diagraphs. If you go to page 36 there, this is how you show it. These are your activity sheets. Everything ready. Everything connected to the stories. Connected to the sounds that are taught. You see here, boat, toast, pole, slow, show, unknown. Those are the sounds made by two letters either together or in a different way. 
Sometimes when Api Amrila's letter shape has water in it, Naughty Walter uses that to splash any apple. And again, we hear the awe sound. And this is a page to help children practice the awe sound. It can be either with any apple and Walter Walrus or any apple and who is there? Who's that? Think of it. The robot stories. Let's look at the robot stories. We three brothers are the Earth brothers. We take turns of saying her, her, her. We three brothers are the Earth brothers. We take turns at saying her, her, her. In many words, of course we each prefer a different spelling for her, 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 which may seem absurd at first, or purposeless, or worse. But we three brothers think we're perfect, be alert and observe us, we are perfect. We Brothers think we're perfect Be alert and observe us We are perfect Isn't that amazing? Lovely, Wonderful. excellent So you do the a difficult concept Made so simple That's you know, Three different ear sounds Yes And first you've done the story So the child has understood it And instead of they just doing the worksheets Mechanically they are now able to think, oh yes, this is the story. This is the worksheet. Take example of brother. For the second one, Saturday. How do you spell Saturday? You have the R sound in between. The last one, shirt. Again, sound, yes, the R sound. Mr. I and Mr. E go out walking. Here, Mr. I's turn when Mr. I and Mr. E go out walking. Here, Mr. I in words like pie, tide, supplies. Let's see the worksheet. Fried egg and pie. Magnified flies. And there are sentences, there are words that the child has to write, the rhyming words with all these. Move to the next one. The copy master sheet, blends and diagraphs. One more example, Mr. O and Mr. A go out walking. And these are the words, like for example, you see the word float, coat, coal, road, and so on. And the child realizes that that's no one else but the old man. So these are the vowel men, and these are the long vowel men which make these sounds. So again, you have the copy master. You can put your school name, child's name, date, the grade, and give out the worksheets to them. The vowel men go round, vowels go round, vowel men go round. So what are these words? If you look at it. Now these children you see are holding the flashcards. Currently children are not at school. But the parents wish to make this. They have the flashcards. And they are holding three people in family and they make the three letter words. And they help the child to learn to read this and make more words like that. Now this one is, what's the word here? Lead. If I put this instead of this in lead. the middle, it become laid. And if I put this in the middle, it will become load. So though the first and the last letters remain the same, 
the middle sound helps children learn new words. We have lots of supporting resources. We have make a story card game, word card games, the giant alphabet puzzle, semi snake snap, snap game. One of my favorite is the things to make and do and the cookbook. Every time you do a letter, whatever letter you are doing, you open to that page. You don't have to do it from page one. And you do the cooking activity and art craft activity. We have who's hiding, that's lifting the flap. Letterland has also come up with magnets. So we have a book with magnets and we also have magnetic sheets. Alphabet adventure where you open a page and you have to spot things from A to Z, from any apple to zigzag zebra. You see the ABC adventure, the action song CD. These are board books for the beginners. So we have my ABC of action and we have my ABC of animals. What are other instructional support material. So ABC beyond ABC, far beyond ABC. With the copy masters, as you can see. We also have living code cards. The vocab cards, picture code cards, precursive. Plans and diagrams, handwriting songs, alphabet songs, and of course the story phonics. That's Lynn Wenden, the creator of Letterland. And the final message from her, she's 92 years old. The final message from her is, I wish you and your children a wonderful shared journey of discovery in the land of words. That's me with Lynn Wenden. I have been trained by Lynn Wenden and in very close contact with her. I want to end today's session with a little poem. Whose child is this? The author is unknown. Whose child is this, I asked one day, seeing a little one out at play. Mine, said the parent with a tender smile. Mine to keep a little while, to bathe his hands and comb his hair, to tell what he is to wear to prepare him that he may always be good and each day do the things he should. Whose child is this? I asked again. As the door opened and someone came in. Mine, said the teacher, with the same tender smile. Mine to keep just for a little while. To teach him how to be gentle and kind. To train and direct his dear little mind to help him live by every rule and get the best he can from school. Whose child is this? I ask once more, just as the little one entered the door. Ours, said the parent and the teacher as they smiled and each took the hand of the little child. Ours to love and train together. Ours this blessed task forever. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. So, I want to tell you something. Yes. I wish this program was there when I was a child. <laughs> because I would find it so easy to learn the spellings and letters if I was taught like this. But really, hats off to Letterland. It covers everything under in one package. It's packaged so beautifully. Everything from writing to singing to music to uh, stories. And, and children love stories. That's the best way they're going to learn. So I simply love the program. And thank you so much for being here with ABC today. And Amrita, you want to say something? Yes, I want to say, I want to say that Hemangani, I have used this program and you know because I've got it from you and multiple times and customized curriculums based on this program. I've actually seen it in action. So I want to tell the viewers over here that it really works. It's a wonderful program. It does wonders for the children. The children love the songs. The activities are easy to follow. And it can be easily interspersed in any curriculum. 
and can be used. So absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And it's a whole package with cooking absolutely. and teaching yes. it, and flashcards and stories and everything that goes with it. That's that's a beautiful product. Thank you, Himangi. Thank you, Himangi, once again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me introduce to you the next topic for uh, next Wednesday, 2nd September at 4 p.m. Our topic is NEP and how it affects the preschools, the, small, the standalone preschools and also the chain of preschools. So see you next Wednesday, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you, Himangini. Bye-bye. Bye, Himangini. Thank you. Okay.